Okay, everybody should be able to hear me now. And then players, can you all talk so we can see if everybody can hear you? Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. You should be hearing them. If you're not, please let me know. Um, all right. Just scared my dog. Uh, <laughs> welcome to Purge of the Serpent Hole, Season 3, Episode 15, An Interlude. I'm Corinne, I'll be your DM. I'm known as Bandit Pixie Girl on the internet. Uh, you're either gonna find me as Bandit Pixie Girl with an E in Pixie or without an E, depending on how soon I grab the name. Um, as always, I'd like to thank Sim at Simulcray on Twitter for the theme song he created on our show. Um, we'll link him in chat right now. I know he's taking commissions right now. And, um, there we go. Uh, and uh, the song you were hearing before we jumped in was him if you're in interested in learning more about scarred lands you can pick up the player's guide via pdf from drive through rpg or in print from indie press revolution here's those links while this is a homebrew campaign some of the player options would be enemies and spells are taken from frostlands of Fenr fenrilic from the slurration vault yugman's guide to gelspad and the creature collections uh leaking those here I started using a, a Mac for my job, and now every time I'm trying to do control, like copy paste, I fuck it up and use the Mac ones. Um, <laughs> if you're interested in sponsoring this game, please reach out and let us know. Other than that, the best way to support us is with your views, engagement, um, and uh, just like hanging out with us. Now, on to the players. Who are you? Who do you play? And how are you feeling today? Uh, we will start with Shawnee. Oh, uh, I am Shawnee. And you can find me across the internet at Shao Cat Cosplay. And tonight I'm going to be Shaho, just for y'all, because I love you. <laughs> Wonderful. Wow, my camera, goodness. Let me just, it hates any movement today. <laughs> and I am feeling catly chaotic today. Wonderful. This is exactly the energy we need. Uh, what about you, Megan? Hello, my name is Megan. I'm a nerd. You can find me at Megan is a nerd wherever I happen to be, which is mostly here, uh, to be honest. I will be playing Caravan. She is like, kind of like a mermaid, but uh, can walk around, which is great, because otherwise this would be a water campaign, which would be a whole different vibe. Um, and I'm feeling, I'm feeling kind of tired today. I had a full day in the pool with my toddler for like four hours because she did not want to leave. Um, a lot of pool time, but I'm here. <laughs> I'm excited to be playing. Pools are very fun, so I understand why she didn't want to leave. Especially when you're three. That yeah. is this is the place to be. I can't believe she's three already. Three and a half. Really. Oh, God. Don't time. Oh. Time makes bitches of us all. Uh, <laughs> Hero me. What about you? <laughs> But I uh, want Hiromi, I mean. Uh, I'm Hiromi, uh, they, them, I make games. I make lots of games. I made all, all, all of these. Um, and I'm making more. I have made more that just aren't out yet. Uh, I've made more that um, I don't own in physical form because either they're not in physical form or because uh, dumb reasons. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm playing Zasa, who is exactly as ADHD as I am, uh, and uh, today I'm feeling underaccomplished. So I'm gonna play a game, and, and it's gonna be a better. good time. And hey, you get to burn down a casino if you want. Yeah, that's accomplishment. Speaking of, uh, last time you defeated the um, cursed roulette wheel, the sentient roulette wheel, the roulette wheel of wishes, whatever we want to call it. Um, and when that happened, you realized that there were uh, filaments, hairs, uh, through the entire building, creating the neon effect and essentially working as the electricity that you had seen running the slots and things like that. 
these filaments are uh, Mormo's hair, as you have discovered. You did take the piece of Mormo's scalp that they were attached to and bubble it. Uh, yeah, yeah. And back to the gross part of this game. Um, <laughs> I can tell you, one of the places you can go is going to be really gross. Um, the other one... Probably. Are we going to go recover Mormo's butthole? Is that what you <laughs> tried to hint to uh, us? No, that wasn't even on my mind. Um, <laughs> that, that's for the season finale. Yeah. <laughs> really get the viewers in there. <laughs> in there. Real deep. Uh, <laughs> um, so uh, you you were talking about if you wanted to burn down the casino. Um Obviously, there might be some resistance to that idea uh, if, if you choose to do so. Otherwise, you can't leave it. You don't know exactly what's going to happen. Um, you don't think the hair can regrow a scalp, but you also don't know. <laughs> Remember, this game does contain body horror. Please. No, it's just... So far, every time you've mentioned the word scalp, I've had a violent cold chill. So I'm excited to see if that continues tonight. Uh, I read a really great body horror uh, novel this week. Uh, shout out to From the Belly by Emmett Nahill. Excellent. Uh, it's, Did it also have scalps? Uh, not so much scalps. Uh, m more like things that shouldn't be in the body in the body like uh seashells we can stop there <laughs> uh it's a really great book though highly recommend if you like horror uh especially eldritch kind of like otherworldly uh capitalism sucks horror about whalers um of all things <laughs> anyway i digress <laughs> not just the tickets are scalped all right <laughs> So, what do you want to do? Um, I have some just kind of waiting music on right now. Um, but uh, if you would uh, like to hang out more in Paradise, I can put us back to the Paradise music. Um, it, it, it's kind of up to you. The, the, the table is yours. Oh, gosh. How long? It's been a week and a half that we've been stuck in this time loop. Mm -hmm. I think the first thing we need to do is to go back to that um, bomb-ass buffet at our hotel because all we've had in a week and a half is Zaz water and it was great, but... Um, you also probably really have to pee all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Who, who even knows how Zaz's snack pouches are doing right now? I assume that's what we've been living off of. <laughs> Whatever she pulls Probably. out of her chest. All right. So you're heading back to um, the inn that you were staying at um, and uh, heading to the, the great buffet. Um, it's paradise. There's always food. The buffet is always stocked, no matter what time of day it is. So, you know, you're able to walk in and they recognize you. They're like, hey. And, the, and if you do recall, uh, this is the um, the male um, Asathi uh, who was Lionel, like... Lionel, I think his name was. I think so. Who was yes. really scantily clad. Um, yes. Speedo and necklace. Yeah, Speedo and necklace. Um, <laughs> I take important notes. <laughs> yeah, you do. Thank you for remembering Lionel. Um, <laughs> and he he's kind of like the... The greeter, the receptionist, uh, the... I can't think of the word I'm looking for. Front of house. Eye candy? <laughs> eye candy. <laughs> he is the eye candy as well. Um, hey, you never checked out? Yeah, um, we got sidetracked and we won big uh, here. And Zasa just hands over a stack of chips. <laughs> Well, this will certainly cover your room fees. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and so um, he uh, reaches behind him and like you, like he doesn't have pockets, but he produces like a key from like his shoulder area. It seems like you don't know 
exactly what's happening. Uh, and he's like, you can get back into your rooms. Uh, we Housekeeping has been in, but we didn't let anyone else check in because you never checked out. We just kept ringing, like, charging you for the rooms. I hope that's okay. I mean, you just covered it. Congratulations. What, um, what uh, casino did you win at? Uh, the Silver Serpent Casino. Sorry, in my notes I wrote Silver Silver Serpent Casino. Yes, mommy. In parentheses, <laughs> that really distracted me. <laughs> I mean, it was contextually important that you wrote that. Uh, yeah, I think it's because a really hot Asafi, Asafi woman yeah. gave yeah. you like told you to come to the casino. <laughs> And I think that was one of the times where I whipped out my sexy voice and, like, threw you all in. Well, some of you into a tizzy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was all of us. That's, that's Happy, Pride. <laughs> Happy Pride. Happy Pride. I can do it again if you want. <laughs> no, please. <laughs> my heart can only take so much. Uh, well, I was honestly just, like, I was kind of worried that we were going to lose everything that was in our rooms because it's been such a long time, like, you know how it is when you're just winning, 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 and you just kind of lose track of things. And um, so, yeah, I'm really grateful that you didn't just throw our stuff in the trash. Well, we're kind of used to folks getting real caught up in the gambling here. So unless they officially check out, we keep the rooms in their name and they keep racking up those fees, which can, is a, a little bit, that you know. predatory? Yeah. At, at what point do you, like, report them to the authorities as they can missing? So... Technically, we're supposed to report it after 48 hours. But, um, your paperwork got lost in the mail and that didn't happen. Oh. Well, so I mean, I'm really good. glad to see you're okay. Were you expecting us not to? Well, it's sometimes when people go missing in the city, they don't come back. And then we're out all those room fees, so. That's what I was gonna ask. Like, so <laughs> if you keep racking it up, but they don't, then where's the? I assume you go there? after their estate. Well, I don't. I. <laughs> I don't. Specific, not me. Um, the hires up. Yeah, yeah. They're only in it for the cold hard cash. Personally, I like some other things hard. If you know what I'm saying, ayo. Uh. Stiff drink is what I mean. Um, buffet's open. Uh, feel free to go and uh, get some food. I'm sure you're hungry. Um, and yeah, uh, you can head back to your rooms. Um, like I said, housekeeping has been in there. I don't think anyone would have touched your stuff, but maybe go through just in case. Um, it just has been a week and a half. Did someone feed my fish? You have a fish? Googie. Googie. I left Googie in the room. Did you mention you had a fish to anyone? I mean, if someone's in the room, they would have seen. Oh, well, as long as Googie Googie was in uh, view, I'm sure they would have taken care of it. I mean, I guess you'll find out when you get to the room. Uh, Yeah. Good luck. (laughs) (laughs) And, And then he, like... It puts like a hand on one hip and <laughs> just kind of like waits for the next person as he kind of just stares around. <laughs> oh, I think we've been dismissed. <laughs> yeah, he's done talking to you. <laughs> Unless you come back or give him a good tip. <laughs> I mean, you did give him a lot of money, but that was mainly for room fees. Uh, I guess real quick before we eat, I want to go make sure my fish is still alive. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and head to the buffet. Yeah, save me a seat. I'll be back, like, in just a minute. Unless I have to flush this fish down the toilet. <laughs> it was a big fish. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> Googie was a friend! I mean, it is. We don't know. It's it is. Schrodinger's <laughs> fish right now. It's, All right. It could be anything. <laughs> so you head up to your room. The key works. You're able to get in. Uh, you open the door. You do not immediately smell the smell of dead fish. Good right. news. Right. Uh, what For were you keeping? Uh, bo- uh, boogie? <laughs> Googie. <in>. Googie. <laughs> uh, Trying to remember. I just remember I specifically left him in the room before we went to the casino. Yeah, because I know before Googie was in your backpack. He was in the backpack, but he was like, I thought in a bag inside the backpack. Because yeah. I also had other things in my backpack. Yeah. 
Um, I did not specify. Okay, so let's what? just assume like a little waterproof pouch, probably. Okay, okay. So I say I left my collapsible box because I've used it as a boat before. Maybe so that was it. it. I, I remember like crowdsourcing with the group some sign of support. Okay, we, we can months. say that uh, Googie could have been uh, in the, the collapsible box, um, which is waterproof, as we know. It's been, it's been a boat. Um, and so you essentially have like a mini pool for Googie, um, which is very obvious for housekeeping. So Googie is alive. <laughs> hey, Googie, I never doubted you for a second. <laughs> if you had hidden Googie in any way, I'm not making <laughs> promises, but giant like pool in the middle of the room. Very obvious. Uh, Googie, as soon as uh, they see you, like big, like, <laughs> um, did, did Googie have a specific voice? I don't remember. Uh, I don't remember if it had a specific voice. I just can speak to it. Do I have to cast something first? Uh, no, because I think you could just ask Googie questions. Um, I think you could just only get questions answered a certain amount of times, like per day. Yes. Yeah, I think they can. Yeah. They can understand the concepts of my words. Yeah. Any, any beast that breathe water. Yeah. So yeah, like oh. you just understand each other. Yes, you yeah. have an understanding. Uh, so essentially what you understand coming from Googie is something along the lines of, you're alive! <laughs> Googie, let me tell you, it got dicey there for a second. <laughs> I was seeing red and either me or this casino was going down. Fortunately, of course, here I am. So you know what the result was. Uh, if Googie could clap his fin fans together, he would. But it kind of looks more like this. <laughs> like he's trying but he's really just wiggling around <laughs> yeah like ooh. <laughs> almost like the sign language for it <laughs> he's just like uh, happy <laughs> jazz hands <laughs> oh it's been so long since i've asked you a question i'm gonna ask you a question google fish how are you honestly kind of lonely <laughs> Oh, no. Okay, well, um, like, the rest of the group and I are going to go get some food because it's been a hell of a time. And I don't know if you would be comfortable with that because there's a lot of seafood on that buffet. But, um, I, yeah, no, probably not ideal. Uh, but then I'll come back for you. I promise. Sorry. Sorry. Can you stick a thing in out of the water? Shake on it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I trust you. Please come back. <laughs> you can I will leave bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> so Googie is alive. You hey. don't. Uh, do you want to roll a perception or investigation? Uh, it, while oh, you're sure. in the room? Well, I'm in there just to see if anything's messed up. Uh, that's me. Great at perception. Both investigations an option. Dude, yeah, do yeah. You just have to say what you were looking for. <laughs> Not that you did a good job. <laughs> no, I. They said that they've been in there. I'm just checking to see what is out of place. I'm not sure I even remember because we only spent like a day here. So I would have left my stuff and then I've been gone for a week and a half. So I think I would just do a real quick look around. So you notice that um, one of the bath towels has been like origamied into a snake and like left on the bed. With, like, a little mint. <laughs> <laughs> Is it a sign about the casino? You don't know. You got a six. <laughs> I'm going to make a mental note of this to tell my friends. So I feel like this is all connected. <laughs> all right, then I'm going to go join them. Get some food. Talk about plans. <laughs> All right, you head back downstairs. And what were you two doing um, while Caravan was checking out the room in Googie? I have a plate that is just, it is Scooby-Doo levels of ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> For the amount of food The sandwich that is so big that you can't fit it in your mouth. Oh, absolutely. And then just random bits and pieces of sushi sticking out of it. <laughs> it's a monument to sandwiches that should never be made. I love that. Uh, what what about Sasa? What's Sasa doing? Uh, Sasa 
went real quick to get food for herself and uh, for Googie and then tried to uh, tried to find a library. Oh, so you're looking for a library. Okay. Yeah. Um, so uh, do you ask I anyone? Do investigation. Okay. Uh, uh, okay, so with a 15, okay. um, you actually find, uh, you know those little, like, racks that, uh, like, hotels and tourist shops will have that have, like, different, like, establishments in the area, like, things you should visit and check out? You find one of those, and um, as you're kind of, like, sorting through it, you see um, a very elaborate looking pamphlet that just says library on it. It doesn't even have a name. It just says library. Um, and then like, do you take out the library pamphlet? Yeah. All right. So you, you take it out. And um, after it says library really big, it says library again, a little bit smaller. And then there's a picture of books. <laughs> and uh, when you open it up, it, it's just a map to the library. And then it says, we have books. <laughs> Something odd is happening with my video. I look squished. Yeah, you, you kind of look like you just got squeezed. I'm going to cycle my camera and see if things work better. Oh, there, there you go. No longer squeezed. Unsquished. I'm unsquished. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna uh, let the rest of the party know what I'm trying to do because uh, we don't want to get messed up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to get separated? Uh <laughs> What if it's yet another Groundhog's Day scenario? <laughs> I mean, oh, no. it is a weird, a weird pamphlet is all I'm saying. <laughs> um, all right. So you bring over the pamphlet. Uh, and uh, what using, you got there? <laughs> using message stood so that people can't eavesdrop. Uh, so they have a library. And one, I want to check out the library because I like libraries, but more importantly, uh, I think we should burn down the casino, but I also think that we should maybe leave a more plausible explanation as to what happened, uh, a, a, a scapegoat, if, if you will. Um, so are you on a, like, researching how to get away with arson? No. I mean, yes. <laughs> so. I. I've thought about this scenario before, so <laughs> I, I think I can get away with it. Oh, but, this is just like your casual daydream. It's just. <laughs> I mean. What do you do for fun? Oh, I just don't think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I, I do I do the opposite. I, I think about everything. I become I one think of the about void. how fast I can go if I run as fast as I can. I think you can go pretty fast. I think so too. I'm imagining so fun when I try it out. I'm imagining Shaho Naruto running. <laughs> Advanced zoomies. Yeah. Ninja zoomies. <laughs> So I think that if I can get uh, into the library and uh, get my hands on uh, their card catalog system, I can just check it, have Mayor Herricks check out a book on how to commit insurance fraud. <laughs> and then we burn down the casino and on on paper, it looks like it was probably Mayor Herricks who did it. 
I like that. Do you think there is a book that's like insurance fraud for dummies or whatever? Do you think that exists? I think there's probably a book on how to not commit insurance fraud. And if you don't follow it exactly, then you're committing insurance fraud. Do you think it's one of those books where the not is like really small so you can (laughs) barely see it? It's like how to not commit it. These are things you shouldn't do. Sort of deal. Zasa holds up that pamphlet. I think there's like a 50-50 chance. (laughs) Like, look at this pamphlet. It'd be nice to not be publicly responsible for destruction because we've been publicly responsible for a lot of destruction lately. It's true. Uh, on on the plus side, it's it's definitely a good thing and as long as the fire alarm uh, sounds then uh, and everyone gets out then no one gets hurt except for maybe the owners of the casino, but the owners of the casino had a sentient roulette wheel imprisoning people. So well, I mean, it's I mean, possible if we get a move on because the casino had already been evacuated. Like the alarm was sounding when we were leaving, right? Yeah. And all the lights were going out. So everybody's like, whoa, what's happening right now? So maybe we could take advantage of that. Does that mean we don't have time for seconds? I think you could probably throw some in a bag if you're sneaky about it. They probably do to-go plates. Most buffet? buffets don't let you to go. You gotta be sneaky. Snack you gotta badges. slide that plate into your purse. People aren't looking. Well, my collapsible box is in use for Googie right now. Well, I, I really appreciate that. Googie's I mean, been through a lot. My probably. snack boobs are empty, so... Load me up with snacks and I will do whatever. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you load up uh, Zasa's snack boobs with uh, anything you like, really. Um, they are magic. So just about anything. Do you stop to go grab Googie before you go to the library? Or do you not want to implicate him in uh, arson? Uh, no, I think I think we'll grab Googie. You can go back in the uh, backpack it might be useful to, uh, if the library doesn't pan out, we can tap the world's knowledge. All right. So when you come back in the room, uh, Googie, like, gets out of the, like, not out of the water, but, you know, like, up in the water and goes, he's evolving. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, happy that you're back. <laughs> See, I told you. Uh, All right, let's go for a ride. <laughs> <laughs> Googie gets scooped. Zasa Zasa picked up snacks for Googie as well. Let's see if she picked appropriate snacks. No. (laughs) Um, Goldfish crackers. (laughs) (laughs) I was about to say, yeah, uh, goldfish crackers. Um, Because if you'd gotten a one, it would have been sushi. (laughs) Which, like, maybe not for a sentient fish would have been fine, but for a sentient fish would have been kind of (laughs) weird. I mean, my dune fish will eat anything. Yeah, yeah. some some fish will. Some fish are about that life. Mm-hmm. I hope Gregor's taking care of them okay. <sighs> All right, so Googie's like eat, eats one of the goldfish and is like, <laughs> but then eats another. <laughs> you can never eat just one goldfish. <laughs> All right, so you um, are able to pretty easily follow the map to the library, um, but you do notice as you're getting closer, it gets kind of like the streets are emptier and emptier and emptier, and then you get to a door that just has like a hastily scribbled sign on it that says library. I would like everybody to roll perception, please. All right, so you all notice that library is spelled wrong. <laughs> the literacy 
literacy rate is not high here. <laughs> Do you head on in? I, I would like to see, uh, just before we go in, are there windows or anything? There's one Did... little itty bitty window. I'm gonna go just peek in. Just do a little peeky peek. Okay, uh, give me, uh, are you trying to be stealthy about it? I don't think so. Okay, just an investigation, please. Oh, so as you peek in this little tiny window that's about this big, it's like just the size of your eye. So like you're like, and uh, you're able to see in. You notice that all the shelves are very small. They're very small shelves. Um, the books are also small. And... While the door is normal size, like all the furniture it seems very small. So one of two things is happening. Either everything inside here is very small or there's an optical illusion occurring due to the way that the glass is mirrored, like the concave or convex. Oh, I'm going to return to my party. <laughs> okay. So I think I know what's happening here. I looked inside. It totally looks like a library, but not right. So I can only assume this whole building is a mimic. That would be a really big mimic. I mean, yeah. if you are just labeling yourself as a library in Casino Land, you're not going to have a lot of people come, but you are going to have enough people come that you can eat and get ginormous. And people aren't going to really notice, right? Like, it's the perfect scheme. Anyway, just prepare yourselves. Like, gird your loins or whatever. Everything looked really small. It was wrong. I don't want to be eaten by a building. So what do you do? I'm going to see if Sasa thinks this is plausible. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's also, you think one, a couple of things could be happening here. Could be Mimic. Mimic. Could be a very small library in a very big building. Or three, so technically it could be a few things. Um, you think it could be an optical illusion. Those are really your three options. A very tiny library in a very big building, a mimic, or an optical illusion. I'm going to try two things before we go inside. Giving it a uh, snack? Yes. Uh... Sasa reaches into her boot <laughs> and <laughs> throws in a goldfish cracker. How do you throw it in? Do you like open the door and just go? <laughs> Gosh, I'm having problems walking. I sure hope no one eats me. <laughs> All right. You throw the goldfish cracker in. Uh, and the second one is uh, she's going to ritual cast um, uh, Unseen Cartographer uh -huh. and then send a uh, arcane construct in to do <laughs> to be potentially eaten <laughs> instead. <laughs> so you send the arcane construct in and uh, do you have you have a connection to this thing, right? Like you can, uh, like do you just see the map that it um, makes? Uh, I see the map it creates, and um, I can direct it. Uh, let me do the thing. Yes, there. yeah, because I, I always remember like half of this spell. Such a good spell. It is a very good spell. Okay, so. What you notice is that as soon as the force passes through the door, <clears throat> its movement speed slows. Like, it's no longer taking, like, five-foot steps, essentially. Like, no longer moving as if it, like, could move at that speed. It's still making a map, though, just very slowly. Uh, how is how is library misspelled? 
Um, it's spelled uh, L I B. Well, L I E B R A R I. Maybe it's a foreign translation? No. Would you like to examine the sign closer? I mean, yeah. Yeah, and I'll ritual cast detect magic on it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so, roll investigation for anyone who is investigating the sign more. We're doing a lot of sniffing around. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Uh, Zasa, you notice that, um, well, first I'll say what, uh, Caravan notices. Caravan, you notice that the, the lines are very messy, um, like, it, in the writing of the sign. And Zasa, you, like, get real close, you, you get, like, a little magnifier out, and you're like, these are little footprints making these letters. <laughs> And then uh, as you ritual cast detect magic, you discover that there is certainly an enchantment on this place. Um, you can't tell exactly what it is, but um, you're pretty sure it is some sort of... Um, well, actually, this feels a lot like uh, the enlarge reduce spell that's on your scrolls. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought. Okay, well. <laughs> Just mage hands the gulfish cracker back out. It is. I, I assume it's it was tiny, and then when I mage handed out, it goes back to regular size? Correct. Okay, well, uh, things go back to regular size when they leave, which is an important thing to know before we go inside. But we are going inside. Yes. Okay. Uh, and it's also go ahead and go inside. Wait, wait, wait. I... Don't trust this building. So before we go inside, let's just take some extra precautions and I will pass without trace. All right. So you pass without trace. Are you sneaking inside the building then? I intend to do a running jump into the building. <laughs> Okay. If 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 the knowledge is once you get in, you are small. I want to be as like far in there as possible, and not just like tiptoeing in where they're expecting me. You know, I'm gonna jump right. past the ambush. All right. Well, so is to be sneaky inside. <laughs> okay. So um, holy shit! Wow. <laughs> um, Kevin, I would like you to roll an athletics check for me, please, uh, just to see how good of a leap this is. Uh, oh, you trip. Uh, <laughs> so, you trip uh, as you enter. And everyone else is, like, sneaking quietly. And, like, you're still technically quiet because of Pass It Out Trace. But you just, like, make, like, a dramatic, like, and, like, a little bit of dust comes up from the floor. And, um, as you, like, kind of look up from where you're laying on the floor, you see a sign that says, the little library. <laughs> <laughs> and you're all now very small. Just like the library. So it seems like it's normal size. <laughs> I will just kind of like casually stand up, dust myself off. Oh, I missed time that. I, I jumped after we got, I meant to jump before and I jumped after. It's, it's fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. It's fine. <clears throat> as long as you're fine. Yeah. You see a uh, little librarian, or a normal sized librarian at this point, uh, manning the desk. Um, she is currently um, like looking through like a card catalog and then like marking books down and you know, just doing general librarian things. She doesn't seem to notice you um, because past without trace. So you can kind of do what you want here. Uh. 
uh, check the card catalog for something that would be appropriate for uh, insurance fraud or fire codes, something like that. All right. Um, so uh, let me see. All right. So at first, uh, you notice that the uh, Dewey Decimal System is not in place. They're using a different sort of card catalog system. However, you're able to figure it out. Um, there is a little guide. Uh, you're not sure why it's different, but it is. Um, and so you're looking through the little card catalog. And as you're doing that, uh, the librarian looks up, having you know noticed movement out of the corner of um, her eye. Oh, hello. I didn't know we had a patron. <gasps> Multiple patrons in the same day? Our library is blessed. Can I help you? Uh, yeah. I... I was interested in... Uh, books that uh, Mayor Herricks may have uh, checked out. Oh, Mayor Herricks? Hmm... I'm not sure if he's ever been here before. Not much for reading, that man. Um, but I can always check in our uh, system. Well, I, I guess I can't. I'm sorry. Um, you know, uh, confidentiality. Oh, I understand. Um, but uh, if you're, you know, like looking for something specific, I can certainly help. Um, the little library is all about helping, and um, you. Notice that um, as she kind of like steps out from behind um, the uh, the counter to, to like, you know, come over to the card catalog with you. You notice that she has bare feet and you can see a little bit of ink on her feet. She made the sign that's on the door. That's why it was made of little footprints. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> So what can I help you find? Um, do you have, what is the broader name of, uh, we're in a saw? Sorry, say again? What's like the broader name of the country that we're in? Um, so you're in, um, like the general area that you're in is the, uh, Acrudian Desert. I need bigger. I want like the Scarn Guinness Book of World Records, like the Scarn Book of World Records. Okay, okay. Oh yeah, we definitely have one of those. Um, one second. She goes looking through the card catalog, and you see like her little fingers move really, really fast, like supernaturally fast, like so fast. Um, and um, I would like everybody to roll perception for me. So, For a brief moment, I thought I got the 21. I was really <laughs> excited. Um, Shaho, you notice that um, her ears are very pointed. And Sasa, you notice that she has little tiny wings. Um, this is some sort of pixie. A little, a little library fairy. <laughs> A lot, a, a live fairy, <laughs> a live fairy. <laughs> mm. Do you feel good about yourself? I feel really great. <laughs> <laughs> and then she pulls out a little card and hands it over to you. You will find. The Scarn Book of World Records right here. Have fun! Oh, and um, if you see any other patrons, um, no, you didn't. Thank you! Do you see us? I see you. Will other patrons see us? I don't know. Will they? No, they won't. Perfect. <laughs> All right. Um, you with the uh lovely snacks. Uh, can I actually have a snack? And I'm 
not supposed to eat in the library, but I am famished. Oh, of course. I, I thought you saw you throwing little goldfish in earlier. I'm not really sure why you were doing that. <laughs> I was testing a spell. Oh, a scientist. Yes. <laughs> Can I have some goldfish? Yes, absolutely. Oh, thank you so much. <clears throat> I'll go. Now, can I help you find anything? Yeah, so... I know you said that Mayor Herrix wasn't, uh... didn't seem big on reading, which, uh... is, is certainly true from what I understand about him, but, uh... well... I think he might be plotting some kind of big crime, and I was trying to see if, uh, well, several big crimes. Uh, I was trying to see if I could figure out what he was up to, and I realized that since you have good client confidentiality or patron confidentiality, you might not be able to help me with that. But would you be able to look elsewhere while I go through the card catalog and see if he has checked something out? Well, like I said, our motto is um, if you see another patron, no, you didn't. So, uh, I certainly can look the other way while you look somewhere else. But if anyone asks, no, I didn't. You totally didn't. Thank you! Can I have more snacks? Yes. Uh, I'm gonna go shelve these books over here. Oh, and as she walks by you, Zasa, she whispers in your ear. She gets like just a little close, and it's like very like it's pretty sneaky. Um, Mayor Herrix doesn't support the library system, and then <laughs> she keeps walking. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, uh, looking for anything to do with fire codes, uh, or, uh, insurance, especially fire insurance, uh, and I assume something like that, that has to exist. Yeah, so, um, you're able to look through the card catalog, and, um, you do find that there is a book on fire codes. Um, there is also a book on, um, insurance, like, how to be prepared for disasters, uh, kind of book. Um, and, uh, you also find a book that, um talks about the little library itself. Vasa, I have a question. Yes. Uh, can... Uh, not... Not Prestidigia. Is there... Can you forge signatures with magic? I can, but, uh, they won't be permanent. Uh, but, uh, I'm... I'm very good at calligraphy. Isn't this something that Xythos was good at, too? Probably. Oh, yeah. That definitely. And then, um... In my book, I want to see... My idea is kind of like finding the page where it's like the world record for the largest insurance payout. <laughs> And to like either make it look like he had a bookmark in it. Or... <laughs> <laughs> All right, I like that idea. Um, so for that, um, I'd just like you to uh, roll a deception for me, please. See how how well you can fake that he was looking at this specifically. Do you have this Do you have a idea? <laughs> do you have a can bookmark with his face happen? on it or something? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm so bad at deception. Oh, I question. Before you roll, before you roll. Um, 
I will say, you did, like, when you went to Accrued the first time, you went, you found, like, a bunch of flyers about the election. Do you have any of the election flyers on you? Do you think you would have kept one? Probably, if only to be able to point him out and be like, fuck this. Like, see this guy? Don't trust him. Yeah, because, like, if any of you have one of those, I would allow you to roll with advantage because you could, like, fold up the Herrick's, like, election flyer and, like, leave it in the book. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that sounds much more plausible. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, roll, roll with advantage then. Ooh, good thing you rolled with advantage. All right, you have successfully made it look kind of like Herrick's um, might have been checking this out, or somebody who really likes Herrick's, or somebody who just had this flyer. Uh, <laughs> um, but if you also forge it to make it look like he checked it out, then, you know, that would kind of seal the deal. Uh, can Even I roll people who that? don't like reading like record books that's true you can roll calligraphy um go for it holy shit damn uh <laughs> yep herrick checked this out <laughs> <laughs> he definitely did and that that's such a good role i will apply it to any book you want it to as well like you're able to forge away <laughs> yeah uh i think you mentioned fire codes uh disaster preparation and then the uh records yeah uh yeah uh making it look like he checked out all three uh sounds like a thing yeah and we can even say that um his uh signature was like you know a copy of his signature was on the election flyers like i support this message signature you know so you you were able to pretty easily be like that's a signature i'ma make it um all right um, then do you put all the, where, what do you do with the books after you're done? He wouldn't be the type of person to return them. No. We could plant them in his office. Like, potentially we're going back there soon anyway, right? Possibly. I think um, in my mental checklist of things that we needed to talk about, uh, one was decide what we want to do about the hair. And two, figure out where we're going next. And the main things that we had talked about were either going back to confront the mayor or going with Nicodemus Howe to check on his wife, which is potentially a major issue. Who knows how long like we were in there for a week and a half who knows how long he was in there and his wife was very ill we also have to do a welfare check for the cunning linguist's friend in melion <laughs> oh sorry uh, a spider just uh, crawled above and i'm just one second yeah, no problem. Yeah. <laughs> Here's what we're going to do. It is in my framed picture above my computer, and it's chilling. So as long as it stays there, I'm going to proceed like I did not see it. Okay, if it moves, let us know. I'll scream. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> uh, do you want to yeah. take a quick break to, to do something about the spider? Okay, okay. We're going to go to a quick break so we can deal with the spider. <laughs> we'll be right back. Uh, give me one second.
Alrighty, we're back and the spider's gone. <laughs> um, Alright, so, uh, oh, we were, you were deciding where you're going to go and what you're going to do with the books now that you have forged them. So, um, Shaho had just said something about the cutting wing list. But we have to go, we also have a side task in Melion on top of helping uh, him with his wife. I don't think I know that. Yeah, I'm not sure if Caravan was with you when you got the side quest from the Cunning Linguist. Because I believe uh, instead uh, Zariva was there. Oh, oh, so we... Uh, made a friend at this brothel and she asked us to check on her friend in Melion. Oh, well, that sounds like a two birds, one stone situation. So do we think that one of these is more time sensitive than the other? Maybe that's how we decide? How quickly do we need to earn bay on day ethe a scene okay? <laughs> I think Nicodemus's seemed time sensitive, but I also don't know how much we can do to help. So Yeah. Um, unless we have any connections that would be good for treating illnesses. Like, I feel like uh, we're pretty well traveled and have met a lot of people, including people with skills that aren't super common. Maybe we would be able to help in a way that no one else has been able to help them before. Yeah. Assuming she's still around. That's a big assumption. Like, Zasa, we have access to uh shoot where's that place that we go that has all the magic items and tons of knowledge the slorishian vault yeah. yeah maybe they would be able to help they probably would i think they're in the opposite direction and a lot further away but did we notify them about the scalp already uh we definitely need to let them know, but we we're also if we're also thinking about going to Melion, then maybe we want to do two birds with that one because it so it sounded like they had a piece of Mormo there too. Mm. I'm not actually e eager to deal with the mayor face to face again. I oh, I don't want to deal with them. I just want to, you know, get police angry with him. A thought from from the from the DM. Now, if uh, I would like all of you to roll um, a just an intelligence. Uh, for me, just let's see if you can come up with the idea I have. Oh, <laughs> no. Uh, oh, yeah, you don't have advantage. Ah, uh, okay. Um, so, Kervin, you think we're in a casino town. In a casino town, there's probably a fair amount of crime. We can probably hire someone to plant the books somewhere to get the mayor in trouble. They would be a loose end, but if we pay them well or some other way dealt with them, then we could go on our way, and in theory, the mayor would get pinned for it. Guys, I have a scheme. Uh -huh. Have you ever considered outsourcing? Oh. I mean... 
or splitting the party. <laughs> Those are my schemes. I mean, we have we have funds to uh, to hire people. I mean, they only work here in paradise, but we are here in paradise, so. I mean, I'm totally going off of stereotypes. I don't really know this area that well, but I feel like there are a lot of people who would be willing to do things that are kind of, um, I don't know, not really above board, as long as you give them something that they want and everything would be hunky-dory. So I don't know, maybe even someone could have something as the mayor and be super inclined to help us. It does yeah. seem like of the two, um, that particular task is the one that is uh, less requiring of a personal touch. Yeah, I, I like do the like idea. it when we subsidize the local economy. That's right. It would be really good for them, especially if we are burning down one of their businesses. <laughs> Burn down the business, help. put some funds into the economy, it levels out. Yeah. Do we want to have Seafos disguised as the mayor to really sell it? Or do you suppose that's over the top? What would they be doing in their disguise? Just like going with them? Just hiring the uh, hiring the um, arsonists. Oh. oh, see, I was thinking the outsourcing would be the planting of the evidence, not the arse. <laughs> I mean, both. Why not? Why you? We have a lot of those. <laughs> <laughs> um, I I can say that uh, I think this is something that Zephos would be completely willing to do. Um, and uh, here, let me just roll from Zephos's uh, sheet. Oh, I forgot. Nimbus Danger. <laughs> I was like, where is Zephos? It's me every time. <laughs> Nimbus Danger. Um, do you want to double check? Oh, yes. Yeah, I can cast a sky self at will. Yeah, um, so, oh. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, he can, uh, they can cast a sky self at will. So, um, I'm just going to do a performance check with advantage, or a deception check, which one? Uh, or the same. We'll say deception. Um, to be convincing as the mayor. Um, a 23. All right. So, um, Zephos, uh, uses disguise self to look like the mayor, and then... Puts on all the mayor's mannerisms. Suddenly, the mayor is right before you. Uh, hands out for money. <laughs> <laughs> I assume you give money then. to Zephos. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Um, Nimbus Danger uh, goes out into the city to find a ne'er do well uh, to uh, burn down uh, the casino. Let me just roll again from that sheet. Why did I close it? Because I'm silly. Uh, let's roll an investigation with advantage. A 13. All right. So it takes a little bit. Uh, Zephos has gone longer than perhaps you would like. It's starting to get dark. Um, the librarian comes up to you all and is like, the library will be closing in one hour. Um, please do not look at the doors as individuals leave. And then, oh, okay. um, <laughs> she goes back to, like, filing books, uh, where they belong. Um, and, uh, eventually Zephos does come back, like, right before the library closes, uh, looking kind of tired, a little bit bedraggled. Um, but... He, uh, they give a very sarcastic thumbs up, um, and the books are no longer with them, as well as um, it, the money is gone. So you believe someone has been hired to do the job. 
Fair All right. Well, great good idea. job. Efficient. <laughs> we helped the local economy. <laughs> Okay. Well, it's starting to get dark. Do we want to stay here one more night, or do we want to try to head out to Melion? What do we want to do? I think the tunnels went to Melion. They yes. did. They did. Yeah, you had. You could go one of two ways. It's uh, a crude Melion in the desert paradise of us off. Yes. Because remember, something was being transported between them. Some sort of medicine, perhaps? It certainly took away pain. Uh, was Nicodemus, uh, was his wife in Melion, or was that? Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Nicodemus' wife was in Melion, um, as was the cunning linguist friend, uh, who had been talking about um, an illness in the city. Um, and then had stopped writing back. Um, and I did not write down anything about medicine being transported. I remember the little tokens, the chips. So you don't necessarily know that it's medicine. Uh, all you know, because somebody tasted it. I don't remember who. Probably Zasa. Probably Zasa. Probably. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> somebody tasted it and experienced... Um, uh, a loss of pain, a bit of euphoria. Um, it, it seemed like it could be medicinal, um, but you weren't really able to figure anything else out. It was a uh, uh, kind of golden in color um, and viscous, sticky. Uh, that's about it. Kind of like cough syrup consistency. Yeah. Uh, well... We've got, we've made people here mad at the mayor, so. <laughs> That's good, because per my notes, uh, I said we got to fight Mr. Moneybags. <laughs> That's all I put. So I'm glad that he's getting what for. <laughs> great, great notes, it. Megan. Good job. Um, you should have seen the terrible play he made about us. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> It was very rude. <laughs> was I? Was I in the play? <laughs> no. Okay. Let's see. I don't know this guy. Uh, yeah. No. The play was like the Emerald Island Players, uh, <laughs> but um, uh, about uh, the the party who was in a crew during the lockdown, saving the town from um, the uh, disease that had been running rampant. But it was bad, and then everybody got arrested. <laughs> well, Melian's not stricken with dead man's rust, right? I mean, if uh, the city we were in before this city, because I can't retain names to save my life, a crude, crude? Was able to survive. Yes, if a crude was able to recover and survive from dead man's rust then that's probably not the same thing going on in Melian, right? Probably not. Also dead man's rust doesn't really affect everyone or at least not like I don't know how many hollow knights and hollow legionnaires there are in Melian. Actually <laughs> that is awesome no. <laughs> Uh, uh, roll a history for me. History? Uh, yeah, yeah history. Oh. Um, you, to your knowledge, Melian does not have a high concentration of either of those types of people. Uh, Melian is generally known as, um, a, uh, a farming city. Um, uh, there are, uh, lots of Slytherin there, um, lots of humans, um, lots of, uh, just kind of like not a lot of soldiers, not a lot of uh, even spellcasters, really. Um, just a lot of, you know, general working folk. There would be, you there know. There was one. Oh, go ahead. 
Oh, I was gonna say there there is one more place in town that we wanted to hit before we left that I think we mostly forgot about, and that was Skyrim Job, which is where we were gonna trick out our cart. So if we want to do that, uh, we should do that before we leave. Forgot. And if we're going sure, to that sounds serious. Another place where there's gonna be potential illness. We might want to also stock up on alcohol to make sure that we're cleaning things and just to be on the safe side. Last time we got accused of bringing a plague into a city. Yeah, you makes sense. Also, I think maybe we can get some snacks delivered to the library because the fairy was very helpful. And she loves snacks. <laughs> uh, I would like you all to know that behind her hands as she did that, you could see like her mouth get supernaturally wide and very sharp teeth. As soon as you started to say that, I like immediately pictured like lamprey mouth. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just. <laughs> I respect it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So the plan is to go to Skyrim Job, <laughs> which I forgot about. Um, and I only write part. down the important <laughs> stuff. You do. Thank you so much. Uh, we say so much bullshit that I forget half of it. Um, and then you're going to check out your cart. And then you're going to stock up on supplies. Um, is there anything specific you're looking to do to your cart? Can we put like... What popped into my head was like some kind of NOS boosters. Just a turbo <laughs> Or one of, and or on um, one of those things that can throw an oil slick or spit it out behind you. I just want to turn it into like a Mario Kart. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I would say uh, Skyrim Job is capable of both those things. However, they both have their downsides. So okay. you enter Skyrim Job, and uh, you are greeted by uh, one of the purveyors of Skyrim Job things uh skills uh, uh, uh upgrades um <laughs> let me take a look at your cart okay let me just take a look and <laughs> he starts taking a look at the cart uh okay so what you got here is pretty standard basic card i see you haven't used our services before would you like a punch card absolutely he has a punch card. It says Skyrim job really big on it. And then there's like little glowing circles. Um, every every time that you come and get one of our services, you get a little punch card and the seventh one is free. Okay, so looking at your card, it looks like it has not been reinforced. So uh, you were talking about NOS boosters. Is that right? You know, something to give you a little bit of an edge if you were being chased, going fast, that kind of thing. Yeah. So if you're going to use a booster, you have to have the proper supports for it. Your cart currently doesn't have the proper supports. Uh, we can put the supports in, but it's going to take some time. Otherwise, we can still put it in, but it will degrade your cart over time, and you'll have to come back and have it fixed up, and there's always the chance that you flip that switch and your cart goes So do you got like a week or are you in a rush? Is there a way you could maybe do it in... We're in a rush. What's the fastest you could do it with the least bad side effects? Okay, so we could give you about like half a support system in about like two days. Uh, if we did that, um, the likelihood of your cart going... Uh, goes down significantly there's still a chance that anytime you flip that switch uh it's just gonna you know break the wheels off and it'll be really cartoony and you go spinning around in a circle uh, and end up in a ditch um 
Or, uh, I know you mentioned an oil slick. Uh, that one is a lot easier to install. You don't need any special supports. However, however, I want you to listen very closely. If you're going to put an oil dispenser on the back of your cart, you're making your cart incredibly flammable. Okay, what about just like a produce catapult that could send compost, banana peels, that sort of thing um, away from our vehicle? Oh, a catapult's easy. Yeah, no, you got plenty of room right here. We could just, uh, you know, uh, lever this baby in. Uh, I just got to make sure you have the proper torque and you're good to go. That one's an easy one. That one, like, that, we do that all the time. Would we be able to reinforce the wheels so that the catapult won't create drag? You could, yeah. Uh, that would certainly help because the catapult is going to create some drag. Um, so, if we're reinforcing the wheels, uh, it's it to take about a day to install the catapult and uh, reinforce your wheels. What if I help? Oh, do you know your way around the cart? Around some land vehicles. All right, show me what you got. And um, I would like you to roll your, your vehicle handling for me, please. Nice. Um, what what occurs here is, is actually a little montage of Shaho, like, showing what she knows about carts and, like, being like, ah, this year? I can fix that, you know? Like, it's very dramatic. There's 80s music. Um, you're, like, wearing a tank top suddenly. Um, and it's, like, grease-stained. Uh, <laughs> and at first, like, the guy's, like, but then, like, over time, his arms go down. And then eventually he's, like. <laughs> <laughs> so you are able to help. Um, would it, oh, go ahead. Would it help with the boost system if instead of using whatever system they would have to build and install we use the staff <laughs> <laughs> yes but you would not be able to remove the staff from the cart <laughs> i ain't seen a staff like that before but yeah we can certainly uh attach a boost system to that yeah we can do that <laughs> okay so with do you want to do both now a, a catapult, a boost system, using your weird, weird rod you got there. Never seen a rod like that. It's Skyrim job in all my days. And reinforced wheels. And reinforced wheels. Okay. So with your help, as long as you're helping, uh, I'd say about half a day, um, we can we can get this job done. Uh, and uh, we'll give you two two hole punches. So you can, you come back now if you ever want a job. Uh, you know, we're always hiring. Skyward Job is a very busy place. Does anything special happen for the six and the nine punch? So, uh, <laughs> when you get to the six punch, you get a, a, a refill of, um, if you do have the, uh, oil completely for free. Otherwise, uh, we just give you a hearty handshake. Um... <laughs> On the ninth punch. <laughs> so we, we, we either get lube or a hand. Yes. <laughs> On the ninth one. Well, that one's a surprise. <laughs> it's a surprise. I can't tell you. Only our most distinguished customers get to the ninth punch is what I'm saying. And I think maybe one day you'll get there. Just, you haven't yet. You know, I think you have real promise. Thanks for believing in us. You seem like good kids. <laughs> so, um, how much do these Skyrim job services cost? What do we, what's the damage for your services? Uh, well, let me, uh, let me, uh, just do some tabulating here, don't mind me. Uh, yeah, get out, get out the abacus. Yeah, he, he gets out a, a little, like, it's kind of like an abacus. It's, it's like a little, like, it's like if an abacus and a typewriter were, like, attached to each other. And so he's, like, 
tapping away really fast and like little things are moving and there's like steam coming out of it somehow. (laughs) And then like at one point like grease spurts out the other side. (laughs) That actually sounds pretty cool. (laughs) I don't hate this at all. And um, so he, he, uh, after a a little bit of doing that, uh, a piece of paper, like a piece of parchment, like, like creeps out the side. And uh, it, it shows like a tally of uh, of all the services and an amount at the bottom. And uh, <clears throat> well, I'll just uh, turn this around for you, and you can tell me what you think of this number. <laughs> what do you think of that number? What's, where's the what? Uh, what? <laughs> you get a piece of parchment that has a number of, on it. What do you think about it? What do you think about that number? Nice. <laughs> You're right. Because it was 69. <laughs> Hundred. Um... <laughs> Uh, do you take casino chips? You know what? I do, because I have a severe gambling problem. <laughs> <laughs> I... It's enough money that I actually don't know if I took that from the casino. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll say that you have enough to cover it, but this is the last of your chips. Like, okay, yeah. <laughs> and he may be giving you a deal because it's directly casino chips, so like he doesn't have to deal with the, the like exchange rate, you know? Like, it's saving this is custom work. Yeah. <laughs> um. So you get two holes punched. Um. <laughs> And uh, in half a day, your cart will be uh, Skyrim jobbed uh, all over the place. Um, (laughs) Anything you'd like to do in that half a day before you go? Um, I think you were supposed to meet back with Nicodemus um, to, like, let him know your decision. Yeah. Yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. That way he's not, like traveling over land to get there. All right. Or getting killed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he is just one lone rat man in vast scarred lands. Um, all right, so you uh, head back to where the uh, meeting in front of the casino where you said that you would meet Nicodemus. And um, he's there waiting. Um, he looks worried, but he does look rested. Uh, you think that he honestly just went and slept and ate. And, like, he still kind of looks like a dead man walking, but at least he got some rest. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. Uh, what's the what's the verdict? Um, I understand if you can't go, you know, I'd, you seem like busy folks. As it happens, uh, we're petted that way anyways. So uh, not only can uh, we go help you check on your wife, uh, but uh, if you give us a little bit of time, we can probably get there faster. No, we can definitely get there faster than uh, if you had just walked there. You know what? Uh, That sounds great. Does it involve me not walking the entire way? Yes. Um, Amazing. That sounds fantastic. Can I take a nap? Actually, yes. Excellent. Even better. Uh, All right. Uh, Consider me coming with you. Um, When are we leaving? Uh, How much time is left in the cart repairs or uh, work, I guess? It'd probably be like a... By the time, like, you left, met with him... Uh, you know, uh, probably like a few hours, I'd say. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll leave in just a few hours. 
So if you have anything you wanted to wrap up, uh, then you have time to do that. And if not, then it won't be that long of a wait. Cool. I'm going to uh, go get some tasty triangles. Um, and uh, Oh, are you also a big fan of the TTs? Oh, I love the TTs. We all love the TTs here. We're like <laughs> huge TTs fans here. I mean, TTs are my life. Yeah, I mean, ch check it out. Just great TTs. <laughs> oh, you could fill those with TTs. <laughs> yeah, just overflowing with TTs. Uh, do you want to go get some TTs with me? Uh, yeah, yeah, let's do it. Yes. <laughs> uh, for anybody who isn't aware, TTs, Tasty Triangles, are nachos. <laughs> or, you know, titties, whatever. <laughs> Happy Pride. <laughs> um, all right. I think we will uh, leave it there. Um, for the night, because uh, uh, basically all you have left to do is wait for your cart to finish up, and we can definitely have the leaving and heading to Melion uh, as the beginning of next trip. Not, uh, next trip, next session. Um, that gives me time to uh, remember what I have planned for Melion, because it's fun. It's fun, everybody. Um, I've been waiting for Melion for a long time, is all I'm going to say. Uh, you'll enjoy it, or hate it. Um, so, uh, next game is going to be 628, uh, because, uh, I've got some plans, um, <laughs> the next couple weeks, um, but hopefully we'll have everyone back by then, uh, we'll head to Melion, and, uh, things are gonna get excellent, yes. Yes, very are, excellent. Are Bill and Ted showing up? Is it the crossover <laughs> episode we've been hoping for perhaps, this time? Perhaps. Things will be quite excellent there. Um, <laughs> all right. We're going to go around and uh, give everybody time to talk about themselves. Uh, we'll start with Hiromi. Uh, hi. Uh, I've been Zasa uh, and despite probably having the lowest charisma in the party, uh, the face of it. So, you know. <laughs> uh, I don't think I have anything that uh, is crowdfunding or anything right now. Uh, I will soon. Oh, uh, next weekend is on Onyx Path Con. Uh, there's going to be games and panels online on Twitch on Onyx Path's channel and on uh, Plastic Age Plays and uh, a couple of other affiliated channels. So if you are interested in any of Onyx Path's games, which include Scarred Lands, uh, there's, there's stuff happening uh, all weekend. Uh, not this weekend, the following one. Next weekend. So, that? Yeah. <laughs> so you can see more Scarred Land stuff and more things like it uh, next week. It won't be us, but it could be Hear Me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. Uh, next up, Megan. Anything to share? Uh, hello. I'm Megan. I have been Caravan and a delight, as always. This is, yeah, this is what I do. This is where you can find me. Did you like this? Cool. Come hang out again in like three weeks. Apparently, we're slightly off schedule. That's it. That's it. That's all I've got. I'm very sleepy. I spent so much time in the sun today. That's it. Thank you. <laughs> you do seem sleepy. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm Tai Tai. So Tai Tai. Um, last but certainly not least, Shawnee. Hello, I am Shawnee. You can find me across the internet at Shoutcat Cosplay because I do a lot of cosplay. Um, if you want to see me doing TTRPG things, uh, tomorrow I will be in a in Our Brilliant Ruin game um, over on Stella Luna's Twitch channel. Um, and uh, if I'm going to keep the OVR train rolling, this will be my first year at Gen Con. I'll be at Gen Con. I won't just be at Gen Con. I will be cosplaying for Our Brilliant Ruin at Gen Con. They are taking over the Rye Bar, and you will be able to catch me there all dressed up. Um, 
And as far as other hobbies, I also have a small shop where I make super cute things. So if you like cute nerdy things like video game earrings or TTRPG book earrings, you should check out my shop, which is Moonforge Bright. Um, if you couldn't tell, I'm currently wearing some of those earrings. They're Fallout New Vegas earrings. Um, they're excellent. They look just like the, the game box cover. Um, they're very good. Uh, yes, uh, please check out everybody's things. Um, if you have enjoyed me, you can find me on my podcast, uh, Wham Bam Thank You Ma'am. We're in our new season, season three right now, um, which has been a lot of fun, um, and uh, our next episode coming out next Wednesday is the book um, All the Feels by Olivia Dade. Uh, it's very heavily like characters are actors in a show that's based on Game of Thrones. And the book's kind of about how the ending of Game of Thrones sucked really bad. Uh, it is a sequel to another book that was about the same thing. Um, <laughs> it's it's a fun book. Um, we also drink a drink because we do a cocktail and a mocktail. And this one looks like cum. It looks like jizz. Uh, and that's why I picked it, honestly. Um, uh, yeah, I, I, I did that. Because uh, I picked the drinks. So... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> so if that sounds like your bag, come check it out. Uh, this has been Purge of the Serpent Holds. Hope you enjoyed your time. We'll be back on the 28th. Um, and until then, happy Pride, everybody. Happy Pride. Pride. And we are going to raid Rune. Is Rune still playing? Uh, yes, Rune is still playing. Rune is doing um, a raid, uh, uh, a raid thing, a uh, uh, a 24 hour destiny? destiny thing um and that's why they're not here today so um let's read over there make sure that's spelled correctly because yes eh. that's not invalid There we go. Aha, got it. All right, we are raiding over there. Uh, have fun. Goodbye, everyone. Happy Pride! Pride!